Good afternoon everyone. Today I am going to explain that antibiotics. So outline of this lecture, first one about bacteria, about antibiotics and antibiotic resistance. Under antibiotic resistance, how does it forms and spread? What are the consequences for global health? And lastly, what can you do? So about bacteria. Bacteria are small that is microscopical size organisms that can be found in most environment for example in soil water and on and inside the human body there are around 50 million bacteria in every gram of surface soil we would not survive without them as because they help degrade the food we eat and also protect against pathogens then disease causing bacteria a few bacteria can be dangerous to our health by causing infections and even death we can get them from outside the body like other humans animals food on or water Sometimes our own bacteria can causes disease that is bacteria which are present in our body may cause disease. Example of bacterial infections, pneumonia, bloodstream infections, urinary tract infections, wound infections and the sexually transmitted disease gonorrhea. So antibiotics. Antibiotics are a group of medicine that are used to treat infections caused by some germs like bacteria and certain parasites they do not work against infections that are caused by viruses for example the common cold or flu antibiotics are normally only prescribed for more serious bacterial infections as many infections get better on their own Correct use of antibiotic is absolutely essential to help reduce antibiotic resistance. Germs become resistant to antibiotic over time which then makes them less effective. The World Health Organization says the world urgently need to change the way it prescribed and use, uses antibiotics as antibiotic resistance is a major global threat so what are antibiotics so antibiotics are a group of medicine that are used to treat infections antibiotics are sometimes called antibacterial or antimicrobial agents antibiotics can be taken by mouth as a liquid tablet or capsule or they can be given by injection also usually people who need to have an antibiotic by injection are in hospital because they have a severe infection antibiotics are also available as a cream ointments or lotions to apply to the skin to treat certain skin infections it is important to remember that antibiotics only work against infections that are caused by bacteria and certain parasites a parasite is a type of germ that needs to live on or in another living beings that is host antibiotics do not work against infections that are caused by viruses for example the common cold and flu or fungi for example thrush in the mouth or vagina or fungal infections of the skin so example of antibiotics like penicillin and cephalosporin actually penicillin is first discovered by alexander fleming in 1928 and penicillin also isolated from penicillium notatum and it introduced as a medicine in the year 1940 Antibiotic can have broad or narrow spectrum. Broad spectrum 
active against many different types of bacteria whereas the narrow spectrum antibiotics active against one or a few type of bacteria how do antibiotics work before antibiotics there was no effective cure for bacterial infections some antibiotics work by killing germs like bacteria or the parasites this is often done by infecting interfering with the structure of the cell wall of the bacterium or parasites some work by stopping bacteria or the parasite from multiplying so that that is why antibiotic were considered as a miracle cure antibiotics cure infections prevent infections upon surgery and make transplantation and cancer treatment safer when are antibiotics usually prescribed antibiotics are normally only prescribed for more serious infections with germs bacteria and some parasitic infections however you do need antibiotics if you have certain serious infections caused by bacteria such as meningitis or pneumonia urine infections also commonly need antibiotics to prevent spread to the kidneys antibiotics can also also be prescribed to treat acne a less serious condition for acne antibiotic can be taken by mouth or applied directly to the skin then which antibiotic is usually prescribed the choice of antibiotic mainly depend on which infection you have and the germ bacterium or parasite your doctor thinks is causing your infection this is because each antibiotic is effective only against certain bacteria and parasites for example if you have pneumonia the doctor knows what kind of bacteria typically cause most cases of pneumonia he or she will choose the antibiotic that best combat those kind of bacteria there are other factors that influence the choice of an antibiotic this includes how severe the infection is how well your kidneys and liver are working dosing schedules other medications you may be taking common side effect then a history of having an allergy to a certain type of antibiotic if you are pregnant or breastfeeding pattern of infections in your community pattern of resistance to antibiotic by germ in your area even if you are pregnant or breastfeeding there are a number of antibiotic that are thought to be safe to take when taking a antibiotics it is it is important to take antibiotics in the correct way if you do not this may reduce how well they work for example some antibiotics need to be taken with food and other should be taken on a empty stomach if you do not take your antibiotic in the right way it will affect how much of them get into your body that is their absorption and therefore they may not work as well so follow the instruction as given by your doctor and on the leaflet that comes with the antibiotic you are prescribed always take the entire course of antibiotic as directed by your doctor even though you may feel better before your medicine is entirely gone follow through the through and take the entire course this is important for your healing if 
an antibiotic is stopped in meat course germs that is bacteria may be partially treated and not completely killed bacteria may then become resistant to that antibiotic over use of antibiotic has a lead to some bacteria changing their form, form or structure and becoming resistant to some antibiotics which may then not work when really needed for example methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus is a bacterium that has become resistant to many different antibiotics and is difficult to treat other bacteria produce chemicals called enzymes such as extended spectrum beta lactamase that is e h b l s which allow them to be resistant to certain antibiotics resistant to antibiotics has become a major health threat globally as antibiotics are life saving for serious illness what is antibiotic resistance that ability of bacteria to protect themselves against the effect of antibiotics that is bacteria are expert at surviving in changing environment in large bacterial population there are often a few resistant bacteria antibiotic resistant bacteria each year causes more than 38000 death in thailand more than 23000 death in usa 25000 death in the european union but the consequence of antibiotic resistance are most severe for the poor in south asia like india pakistan afghanistan nepal bangladesh one new born child dies every 5 minute from blood stream infections because the antibiotic given are not effective due to the bacterial resistance so if your health professionals says antibiotic are not needed for your condition do not ask for them your health professional will explain in what circumstances you might need antibiotics and what symptoms should prompt, prompt you to return for another check if your illness has changed or you have developed a secondary infection antibiotic may be need, needed after all health professional follow guideline to help reduce the unnecessary use of antibiotic so what are the possible side effect it is not possible in this leaflet to list all the possible side effects of each antibiotic however as with all medicines there are a number of side effects that have been reported with each of the different antibiotics if you want more infection specific to your antibiotic then you should read the infection leaflet that comes with the medicine most side effect of antibiotic are not serious common side effects include soft stool diarrhea or mild stomach upset such as feeling sick that is nausea less commonly some people have an allergic reaction to an antibiotics antibiotics can kill off normal defense bacteria which live in the bowel and vagina this may then allow thrush or other bad bacteria to grow some antibiotics may interact with other medicines that you might take this may cause a reaction or reduce the effectiveness of one or other of the treatment so when you are prescribed an antibiotic you should tell a doctor if you take other medicine what is the usual length of treatment the length of treatment varies a lot it depends on what kind of infection you have how severe it is and how 
quickly you get better after starting treatment treatment can be as follows for just a few days where water infections is there like urinary tract infection for one or two weeks in case of pneumonia for a few month for bone infections and in case of acne only for few few to more month you have to administer the drug who cannot take antibiotic it is very rare for anyone not to be able to take some type of antibiotics the main reason why you may not be able to take an antibiotic is if you have had an allergic reaction to an antibiotic in the past <clears throat> even if you have had an allergic reaction to one antibiotic your doctor or health professional will be able to choose a different type of antibiotic which you will be able to take if you are pregnant there are certain antibiotics you should not take but your health professional will be able to advise on which one is suitable if an antibiotic is needed if you are on some medications certain antibiotics may need to be avoided or your regular medication is stopped while is you take the antibiotic as above when prescribed an antibiotic make sure the prescribed known prescribers known about any other medication you take thank you thank you for your patience